A question I get asked frequently is how many days should I visit each of the parks at Walt Disney World if it's my first time? In this video, I'm going to give you my thoughts on that question. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Coral Joy Travel. My name is Coral and I own Coral Joy Travel, which is a travel agency that specializes in Disney vacations. I help clients uh, every day with planning, preparing, booking their Disney vacations. And a question I get asked frequently is, how many days should I go to each of the four theme parks at Walt Disney World if it's my first time? I would say this. If you want to visit all four of the theme parks at Walt Disney World, my suggestion would be two days at Magic Kingdom, one day at Epcot, one day at Hollywood Studios, and one day at Animal Kingdom. So that would be five days of tickets. Now, this may not work for everyone, and I need to stress that you are not going to see everything at each of the theme parks with only five days of tickets, but it can give you a taste at what you want to see and do on your next trip to Walt Disney World. I think five days is a really good start. And because it is going to be your first time going, I would suggest saving some money and just getting the five day base ticket. So this means you can go in and out of one theme park every day that you are on Walt Disney World property. I also would suggest to stay at a Walt Disney World Resort Hotel because you get a lot of extra perks and benefits staying there and you can kind of immerse yourself in the magic much more easily and use that Disney free transportation. I think something that is huge is using the Magical Express free transportation from the Orlando Airport MCO directly to your hotel and then back to the airport when it's time to go home. I think that is such a great value for clients. So if you're flying. Um, but I love, I love staying on property, just being immersed. Do I think it really matters where you stay on Disney property if this is your first time? No, but I would suggest you to really think about what your budget is. If you have a budget that can accommodate an expensive hotel and you want to have the conveniences, you may want to consider staying at a deluxe resort hotel or a deluxe monorail hotel that is right around Magic Kingdom. If you want to save some money, there are amazing value resorts and moderate resorts uh, that Disney has to accommodate every budget and you still get all of the benefits staying on Walt Disney World property. I suggest two days at Magic Kingdom because I feel like there's just so much to do there. And if clients ask me how to navigate, I usually suggest that they start in Magic Kingdom and they end their trip in Magic Kingdom. So Magic Kingdom day one, Magic Kingdom day five, and then the one of the other theme parks on those three days in between. Let me know in the comments below how many days you would suggest to your friends because I know those of you that are watching could be Disney experts. How many days would you suggest? Goodness, I mean, if I could suggest 14 days, I would suggest that, but usually time is of the essence. So I think a five day base ticket is a great way to start. Maybe you'll stay on property six nights or maybe seven nights, putting a rest day in there if you can swing a week long trip and uh, you're good to go. If you're planning on taking your family to Walt Disney World in 2019 or in 2020, and this is going to be your first time and you need extra help, I will leave a link to a form that you can fill out and one of the agents on our Coral Joy Travel team will guide you every step of the way at no additional cost to you. Working with an agency that specializes in Disney is what you want. And we are there to listen and to guide and to plan and prepare for you and answer all your questions along the way. So don't hesitate to reach out to us. That's what we're here for. Coral Joy Travel, a touch of magic, sharing joy.